Hi team, good evening and welcome to Stretch and Reset on another Sunday evening. Apparently it's Halloween, who knew? So I apologise in advance if at any point during this class the doorbell goes because there are currently some trick-or-treaters heading down our road, which we're trying to avoid because we've got no sweets. Um, but in case it does go, I apologise in advance. Those of you who are here, I have just popped in the chat the playlist for this evening's stretch. So if you would like to use the playlist, then pop it on from the beginning for me now all you're going to need for today's class is make sure you've got some water nearby also make sure you've got a band as well um, that we might need for a couple of our stretches and also a cushion or two as well just enough to get yourself comfy and cozy i'm going to head on over to the mat and we will get started we're going to start off cross-legged and sat down for today so we're going to start off just with our hands on those knees nice and softly and we're going to start off with a few shoulder rolls just to help make sure our posture is nice and strong before we get started so you're going to roll your shoulders up towards the ears round behind you and down and we're just going to work through five backwards at your own pace slowly breathing in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and one more, in through the nose, up, and back. When you reach the bottom, we're going to go for five forwards this time, rolling up towards the ears, forwards and down. Well done. Perfect. Keep it going for me, guys. Well done, two more. And last one for me, all the way up and forwards and down. Just give those shoulders a little bit of a shake off for me. And we're gonna start by opening up the chest and the sides just a little bit. So we're gonna take the right hand down to the floor, up and over with the left arm, and just take a nice stretch all the way from that left hip, all the way up the side, into and through the arm. Now, as we get into this position, feel free to slowly just pull yourself a little bit further if you'd like to. Remember today's class is all about what you need for your stretching. So wherever you need to be today, please stick within that range of motion. Just some light breathing in through the nose. And every time you breathe out, just trying inch yourself a tiny bit further into that stretch. Perfect, coming up and over, left hand down to the floor and over with the right this time. Focusing on that breathing as well, closing down the eyes if you would like to for today's session. Help just create some space for yourself in what I'm sure has been a busy, busy week. In through that nose and out through the mouth. Next exhale, just give me a little bit further if you can. Holding for five, for four, three, two, and one. Coming back up to the middle for me. We're gonna take the fingers and interlace them, bring them up, over the head and we're going to go exactly the same again but in this position so first of all over to the right hand side so you should feel this a little bit more in the chest and upper side area so what we're doing here is just creating some more space for our lungs to breathe into during today's session and over to the left well done And for four, three, two, and one back to the middle for me. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see, but you stay where you are. We're going to bring those hands behind the back, interlink those fingers, and we're going to come into a nice chest stretch. So really pulling those shoulders back, opening through that chest, and looking up to the ceiling. Should feel a nice deep stretch all the way from one shoulder across 
to the other. Again, just helping us create space to breathe into. Well done. Holding for another five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering down and I'm just gonna turn back around. We're gonna go back into those openers one more time. So right hand down to the floor and all the way up and over. Not holding for as long this time. Just a little quick circuit back over to the other side for me. Perfect, you know what comes next. In a couple of seconds, we're gonna interlink those fingers again and bring them up and over to the right hand side. Perfect. And then over to the left hand side. And then one more time into that chest stretch for me. So hands behind and open through that chest, head up to the sky. Nice and proud, in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Holding for five, for four, for three, for two. And one, loosen off those arms for me. Now we're gonna take the arms in front, bring ourselves through a kneeling position, shuffle the feet backwards together. Knees come out to the side and lowering down into our child's pose. Again, we're still very on, early on in today's class. So things are probably feeling a little bit achy and less mobile, especially if you've been out for those miles today. So just focus on starting to feel those joints, feel where there's tension, feel where you seem more relaxed. Focus on spreading those fingers and pushing into that floor as you sit back towards those heels. Now, whilst you're down in this child's pose position, hi Emma, whilst we're down in the child's pose position, I just want you to think and center yourself to a reason as to why you've joined today's stretch. Is it because you've had a tough training week and you feel the body needs a little bit of recovery? Or perhaps it's that you've had a busy weekend and you just need a little bit of time for yourself. Or maybe it's just all about being here today and showing up and that is a-okay as well. I want you to keep that reason in mind throughout today's class as we work through those areas that you've requested. Carefully bring yourself back up to a tabletop position for me. Knees should be directly underneath those hips and hands directly underneath those shoulders. And we're gonna to start to work through some cat cows. So first off, sinking the belly to the floor, sending the tail up and looking up towards the ceiling. And then rounding through the spine, separating the shoulders apart, tucking the tail and bringing the belly button up to the sky as we round through. And then back the other way, tummy down to the floor, tail up and head up. And then rounding through to our cat again. Now we're just gonna spend 60 seconds here working at your own pace through those cat cows as you need to help mobilize that spine and the body. Perhaps you want to twist to one side, twist to the other, maybe some figures of eight as you move through the cat cows. Whatever you need today, just use this 60 seconds to work through your spine and start to loosen things up. Looking good, Emma. Nice jam. If you want a little bit more movement, then add some pace into those changes. If you want a little slow and steady today, then just keep them nice and controlled following your breaths for around another 25 seconds. Gently going from cat to cow 
and through any twists and rotations you wish. And last few now for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. We're going to just shuffle those hands forwards a little bit for me. Tuck those toes and you're going to send your body weight forwards as we come up into a high plank position. Lower your chest down to the floor for me, taking the hands either side of the chest area. Now for our first upward dog, we're going to take the legs so that the feet are wider than the mat. So bring them out to the side so that you can't feel your mat underneath the tops of those feet. And then pushing yourself up into our upward dog. Now this wide stance just helps to push it a little bit more into our hips than into our core. Remember, try and make sure you're not tensing that bum. I know it's really easy when you're in an upward dog. Well done. And think about that space in the chest that we created with our chest openers at the start. I want you to think about that while you're here. Open that chest to allow that breath in and out. Well done, tucking those toes for me, bring them back to around the width of the mat and we're gonna send our bum up to our first downward dog of today's session. If you need to pedal through those legs, then that's absolutely fine. Just finding the right space for your, for your hamstrings and calves while we're here. Perhaps rising onto the toes and then pushing back down with the heels. Keeping that bum up to that corner of the ceiling that we always talk about. Well done. Now, if you can join us in a static downward dog, just here for five, four, three, two, and one, bring yourself forward to that high plank position again, lowering the chest down to the floor. This time, keeping our legs narrow as we push up into our upward dog again, feeling that more in the core this time. Still creating that space in our chest as we breathe in and out. Again, making sure that that bum isn't tensed looking lovely ladies. And while we're here, we're just gonna take a look over the left shoulder. And then over to the right shoulder. Over to the left. And then again, over to the right. Perfect. We're going to bring ourselves back to that kneeling stance. Swing the legs through for me. And we're going to come onto our bum. Make sure your pillow is just behind you. So we're going to work through a few lying down stretches now. So slowly rolling yourself down onto your pillow. <laughs> To start off, we're just going to create some space in those hips. So we're just going to bring the feet together and allow the legs to sink out to the sides. Charlie always loves to make an appearance just as we create space. He loves a little bit of irony, doesn't he? <laughs> legs out to the sides for me. One hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. Close down those eyes. I'm working through that breathing for me. Just allowing gravity to keep them nice and open and slowly pull them a little bit further down towards the floor perhaps as well. And 
breath in and out wide and then in and then just taking the left hand to the outside of the right knee for me taking the right arm out to the side turning our heads towards the right and a big twist as that right leg comes over to the left hand side working through our spine rotations and just holding it here holding our spinal rotation for a little longer than we normally do and in five four three two and one, bringing that right leg back in and another big hug in that chest for me. And release, bringing the left leg in now and giving the left knee a nice big hug and into our circles on this side. Nice and slowly, just creating that space before we take the right hand to the outside of the left knee, left arm out to the side, gaze to the left and over into that spinal stretch, this side. Perfect guys, well done. All good, I've got my key, key sign that the internet was working because Charlie's moving, so we're all good. <laughs> Team. keeping it in that spinal rotation for me and then in four three two and one bringing that left knee back into the chest for a nice big hug and this time we're going to take the left foot onto the right knee and bring the right leg to a floor position. So we've got the base of the foot on the floor. We're into our figure of four as we lean through the gap, take a hold of the back of the hamstring and just slowly on your next exhale, start to bring that leg in towards the chest and start to feel that deep stretch through the left glute. If you want to take this a little bit further, then just move the hands around so that they're on the shin or feel free to use your left hand to apply a little bit of pressure to the left knee, pushing it away from you, which is gonna just intensify that glute stretch a little bit more. So we're gonna hold this one for around 60 seconds. I know we had a lot of tight glutes, so keeping this one in a nice deep hold, but also focusing on using our breath. So with every exhale, just giving ourselves an opportunity, if we wish, to come in a little bit closer with that stretch. Perfect. Just another 10 seconds here. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering the right foot down to the floor. Make sure your band is nearby in case you need to use it. We're gonna extend that left leg this time for me. So almost fully extended, a little bit of a bend in the knee if you need. We can either have the hands on the back of the hamstring and use that to pull the leg in towards us, creating a nice deep hamstring stretch, or feel free to loop your band around the foot and use that to ease the foot back towards you. Now, we've got the right leg bent. This is going to make it slightly easier in the stretch. If you'd like to make it harder or stretch further, just stretch out that right leg for me. Whatever feels comfortable for you today is completely fine. 
deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Holding for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully releasing that band if you're using one. That leg, just give it a little shake off before the left leg becomes our base for our figure of four. So the left leg is flat and the right leg is crossed over on that quad. Now leaning through that gap, we're gonna come into that glute stretch on the right hand side this time. Again, staying here for around 60 seconds, working nice and deep into those glutes and using every exhale to just pull a little bit more into that stretch if you can and if you would like to. Of course, having the options again to take a hold of the shin instead or add a little bit of pressure and push that right knee a little bit away from you to create a little bit more depth. Well done, guys. Not long left. Keep using those exhales for me. Holding for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That left foot goes down to the floor as we extend that right leg, either using the hand or the band, bringing it round, wrapping it, and using it to pull that leg in towards us, creating that hamstring stretch. Now option here, of course, to lower that left leg if you'd like to take the stretch a little bit deeper. And focusing once more on that breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done, guys. Give me another five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that band off for me. Give that right leg a good shake out. And then carefully bringing yourself back up to seated. So bend the legs first and then slowly bring yourself back up to that seated position. Swing the legs around and we're coming back into our tabletop position. From here, we're just gonna step the right leg to the outside of the right hand for me before we carefully lift that upper body into our half kneel. Fab, everyone's there, apart from Charlie. Never mind, we've lost Charlie. <laughs> we're just gonna start to bend forwards into that hip joint to mobilize, not for too long. We're just gonna work a few quad and hamstring stretches here now. So when you're ready, just bring yourself back to that half kneel. Step the right foot out so that we're on the heel a little bit further in front of you. I want you to think about pointing the toe towards the forehead as much as you can before you lower yourself down one hand to either side of the leg. If you can't quite reach, don't worry. Just grab me a cushion on either side so that it raises your height a little bit to help support you in that stretch. Now this can be quite an intense one, especially if you've got very tight hamstrings. I can see some gritted teeth going on. Don't fear, just keep breathing for me. And keep those toes pointed as close as you can to towards that forehead. Perfect. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting yourself back up to that half kneel again. 
Perfect. Now this time we're going to come into our quad stretch. So turning around to the left, taking a hold of that back leg and pulling it in towards the glute. Now, if you need, feel free to pop that cushion as always, just under that left knee to support you. And you can use your band as an option here as well to help bring that leg in if you need. Now this week, all together, we're just gonna take some bends through the front leg to help us increase the depth on this stretch. So slowly bending into that front knee for me and then back. And then once again, into that front knee and back. Two more for me, into that front knee and back. And last one, into that front knee and back for me. Well done, swing that right leg round to meet the left leg. Take out your cushion if you were using one. And this time we're gonna bring that left leg forwards onto that heel, pointing the toes up towards the forehead again before you start lowering yourself down into all that left one's tight, ooh, hamstring stretch again. Again, remember if you've got blocks or cushions and you need the extra height, use those underneath the hands to help elevate yourself just a little bit more. Nice, Gemma. Well done, Em. Fab. Not too long here. Just focus one more time on those toes coming back towards the forehead for five, for four, three, two, and one. Back to that half kneel for me. If you're using your cushion, slide it under that back knee for me now. Before we turn to the right, grab a hold of that right foot and bring it in towards that glute again. Again, using your band here if you need, but all together we're gonna to work through those bends once more. So bending slowly into that front leg, Ooh, and then releasing off, slowly into the front leg again, and off, into that front leg, and off, and one more into that front leg, and off. Well done, guys. We're just going to work through that same circuit again this time, but without those mobilizations. So we're going to come back up, taking the right heel down to the floor. And this time, all I want from this hamstring stretch is just a little bit more flexion in that foot. So keep your focus there as we lower ourselves down once more into that hamstring. Keep that focus on the breathing for me. Our muscles relax when we get fresh oxygen into them. So the best thing we can do is keep that breathing nice and slow and controlled. Well done. Holding for another five, four, Three, two, and one. Coming up to your half kneel, sliding that cushion in if you're using one and coming once more into our quad stretch. Now this time, we're gonna find where we need to be. So if you can feel the stretch here and that's enough for you today, then please stay there. If you need a little bit more, then find where in that bend you start to feel that quad activating and rather than bouncing in and out this time I want you to hold it here we're going to stay here for a full 60 seconds so a little bit deeper than our last round and focusing on just feeling that quad relax with every exhale that we can find well done guys looking good if you do feel part way through that you want to give it a little bit more of a depth then just increase that bend for me 
as you go. Perfect, another 15 seconds. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering the leg off for me, bringing the right back and taking the left leg out onto the heel. Again, focus this time is on that flexion in the foot before we lower down into that hamstring stretch. If you're gritting those teeth, just try and loosen that jaw off a little bit for me. And breathe through. Well done, guys. A last little bit of focus on that flexion. For five, for four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself back up. That cushion comes under the back knee. A turning, grabbing a hold of that right foot in towards the glute, and then finding your depth wherever you need to be to feel that stretch down the front of the right quad. And we're going to be holding here once again for 60 seconds. Our final little bit of deep quad stretching. I know it was M who I think requested quads. Feeling better? Nod? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Well done. Keep that hold there for five. Ooh, or fall over. For four. For three. For two. For one. And release it off for me. Bring that cushion out. And we're going to swing those legs through. So we're sitting on the bum. You guys can be facing me or sideways on wherever is comfortable for you. I'm just going to be sideways on so that you can see properly as we go. So for these final few stretches, we're gonna be working through the backs of our hamstrings and then into the groin area. So we're just gonna start off with a really simple toe reach stretch. So try and keep your feet at least at a right angle before we lean as far forwards as we can. If you need a little bend in those knees, that's fine. Perhaps you can touch your toes and take yourself the whole way there. If not, then just use the shins as a resting point for those hands, wherever they might fall. You might not need to go too far to even feel that stretch down the backs of the legs. And the more you increase that flexion through the ankle, the more you will feel that stretch through the calves as well. Well done. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting ourselves back up. Bring the feet together now for me. So base of the foot to base of the foot, a little bit like we did in our lying down version of this stretch. Just allow the knees to sink out to the side. Take a hold of the feet in the hands and just slowly lowering the chest down towards the floor, using the elbows if you wish to apply a little bit of pressure to help open up and through that groin as we feel that nice deep stretch through those hips, just helping us to open up. Looking good, well done guys. Perfect, holding here for another five, four, three, two, and one lifting up. For me keep a hold of those hands on the feet just shake off those hips give the bum a little wiggle from side to side 
and we're gonna go straight back in to a second round. So we're gonna build through this for three rounds. So when you're ready, coming back to join me in that fold once more, a little bit of pressure from those elbows onto the legs this time, and perhaps a little bit more flexion in those hips to bring you forwards a little bit further as well. Remember, keep that breathing going. We are in an upper collapsed position, so it might feel a little bit harder to fill those lungs, but try and focus on elongating those breaths and relaxing into those stretches. Well done. Holding for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting yourself up. Well done. <coughs> Knew that was coming. Sorry, bless me. <laughs> A little wiggle from side to side. And when you're ready, back to those feet. And one final time, bringing yourself into that flexion through the hips, a little bit more pressure on pushing those legs down at the sides. Well done. This is gonna be our longest hold of the set. Remember with every exhale, using those arms to apply a little bit more pressure. Holding for another 10. For five, four, three, two, one. And lifting for me. Take those legs out in front of you. Shuffle down that mat and slowly bring yourself down to that lying position. Now when you get here, I just want you to close those eyes down. Take the hands out to both sides, palms facing up. And just carefully start to really focus on that breathing in through the nose. Feel that chest rise and then out through the mouth. Feel the belly rise in through the nose as it passes back to the chest. And then out through the mouth as it passes back to the belly. Bringing one hand to the belly and the other to the chest now. We're just gonna finish today's class with a few minutes of peace and quiet for yourself. I want you to think back to those reasons that you set during your initial child's pose today. Why did you show up today? and just have a little evaluation of how you're feeling now compared to how you were feeling five, 10 minutes into the class. And take a little moment as well to be proud of yourself for showing up today, for listening to your body and prioritizing a little bit of you time. I'm gonna leave you here for another minute or so and I'll come back when it is time to round off today. you want to stay here for a little while longer then please feel free to if you're ready to round off today's class then just slowly keeping your eyes closed roll yourself over onto one side into 
a bent knee position. And then still keeping those eyes closed, just use both hands to push yourself back up to a cross-legged position. Try and cross the legs the opposite way to the way that you normally would. I'm just gonna take the hands to the knee. And with an inhale, bring those shoulders up to the ears. And on the exhale, just round them back and down for me. So that we're sat really nice and upright. Bring the hands to cover the eyes and slowly blink those eyes open and then carefully remove those hands to let the light back in. She says the light is pitch black. We've reached winter again. It's so dark outside. Well done team. Thank you so much for coming to join me this evening and a huge apologies for the Wi-Fi issue part way through. A little spooky ghost probably, you know, Halloween, just cancelling out the Wi-Fi to play with us all. But thank you so much for coming and joining me today, especially to the little guy there. Honestly, makes my weekend. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much, team. Rest up, get yourself some good sleep and hydration before another big week ahead for absolutely everyone. For those of you who are here, I will stay on the call in case anyone has any questions or anything. And for those of you catching up on demand, let me know how you got on with today's class whenever you pick it up. Thanks so much, guys. And I will see you, well, I'll chat to you all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>